All right, guys, here's my impersonation of one of those over-the-top, like, YouTube intros, all right? <clears throat> What's up, guys? True Peacock here back with another video. In today's epic video, we're going to be looking at subscriber questions. Please go and smash like, smash. I fucking hate intros like that. I can't take it, okay? I can't take it. That already was giving me an aneurysm. I hope no one in my household heard that because I would probably be kicked out of my household just for saying stuff like that. That was just, oh my god. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at some questions that you guys had for me. I put on my Instagram, you know, ask me some questions and so i have a lot of them pulled if i answer the same question twice i apologize i'll try to cut it out but i might forget because i'm trying to get through a lot of questions so let's just go ahead and fire off some rapid fire questions here we go first question german or japanese imports personally i'd probably lean more towards the japanese imports just for like daily driving but if i really want like an exotic then sure i'd go german like a porsche Plans for the daily, the 200SX, the, the car that you guys all love, the car that I'm probably driving in the background right here unless I change my mind on what to film. Uh, plans for it, I'm probably going to sell it, and I know, hold your horses guys, I'm probably going to sell it. My girlfriend is looking for a car, so I'm going to sell it to her for really cheap, and then buy a motorcycle, and still build the 200SX, but then it'll be her 200SX. I'm still going to put shit on it though, uh, don't worry guys, I'm still doing shit, but ultimately I'll have a motorcycle instead of that. What's the best first mod in your opinion? Honestly, I would say exhaust um that way you kind of know if you're into the whole like race car shit if not then you know go with wheels what hood do you have i have what is it true fiber three inch cow hood do you prefer this wrap over your dip and don't lie so honestly i like my wrap i like the color i liked my old color too but i think the dip was a bit cleaner so um it was a bit like more refined on the edges obviously i wrapped this myself so it's not like perfect but yeah the dip looked a lot better on the edges it looked a lot sharper in my opinion what future does the mustang behold well we have e85 on the way i have the injectors in my house right now the fuel system is coming on friday and i'm still waiting on the pulley and then we should be doing some mad horsepower besides that um you know just normal shit. we got to get new wheels new tires we we, we gotta we gotta change it up how much have you spent on your mustang including purchase cost okay so this is this one i'm about to bust out the calculator really quick so we got a twenty-five thousand purchase cost i bought the car a few years ago um it had twenty thousand miles on it it already had the built motor and the supercharger and some of the other goodies but twenty-five thousand on that and i'm just gonna i'm just gonna list the big shit. so then we put um we swapped superchargers so plus ten thousand right there so ten thousand plus the other 5,000 that I'm pretty much putting in right now, plus 5,000, plus another 5,000 for the transmission that I had to put in, plus 5,000, plus 2,000 for the wheels, 2,000, and I think that's all the big shit. I mean, little shit here and there, we could probably add on like some suspension parts, that was 400, radio, that was like 300, so we could probably add on just another 1,500 of little shit, 1,500, and probably around 48,500 or 50,000 dollars in total for that car again not including like little maintenance things too i guess we could add on the oil gear pump and that would be right at 50,000 but uh around 50,000 probably which actually sounds really insane now that i think about it what am i doing with my life and before some kid goes down to the comments and says no well that's actually mommy's and daddy's mustang no kid it's called hard work you put in some extra hours at work and you can save up and over a couple years you can buy something expensive i know corvette zr1 or gtr this is another hard one so the new zr1 is really nice but again an r35 gtr would be really nice too i think i already have the straight line performance car so i would take the gtr are you getting a jdm car anytime soon i'm actually looking into jdm cars after i get my motorcycle i'm going to use the motorcycle to kind of build up my credit some more um and then after that i am probably going to try to import a car some actual jdm right hand drive shit so i don't know what exactly yet i have a few bouncing around my noggin but not sure do you like any other generations of mustangs okay so i do like the new edge mustangs i like those those, those two valves and the cobras like those uh, my favorite model or year of all time is 2013 2014 those gts just mm, they look great um, i do like the s550s i'm not a fan of the newer s550s though so would you rather keep your mustang or pay half the price of the 2020 gt500 <laughs> still half the price you're still gonna be paying like 60 grand uh, i'd probably just keep my mustang i mean it's probably gonna be just as fast how do you feel about bama tuners i've never used one so no comment if you had to sell your mustang what would you buy to replace it i would probably buy a corvette either a c6 or a c5z one of those um corvettes are just really nice cars all around do you regret the orange at all i don't regret the orange but the wrap again doing it yourself mm, maybe 
do you believe in global warming well scientists are kind of showing that you know it's, it's true so i kind of you know believe the scientists i'm a man of science myself so uh best car you've ever drove and why probably the c7 z06 they are crazy back when i worked at penske we would every once in a while get to you know have to drive them somewhere and uh crazy cars is your mustang your dream car if not what is so i mean it's not really my dream car like i, I was never growing up wanting like a 2006 mustang gt but I, I am very grateful that i have this car i'm very happy with it i wouldn't trade this car for a lot of cars but if we're thinking unrealistic dream car i would probably say porsche 918 spider if we're saying realistic dream car then i'd probably say something like i don't know a z06 or a gtr do you ever get hate for driving a Mustang? Yeah, nonstop. I, I can have an opinion on a different car and some people will just rule it off because I drive a Mustang and yet they're probably driving a Honda and it's just like, really kid? Yeah, if you own a Mustang, it's probably one of the most annoying things about it. But what is something you don't like about being known? And I think by known, they mean like, you know, not famous, but like, you know, you're known, I guess you're, you're a, a, not, a public figure, I would assume. But um, something that's kind of, you know, like people don't think about is like, you just your everyday life again you know i only have a hundred thousand subscribers but like i'll run into subs at car meets like a lot and it's kind of just like you know it's, it's a little awkward because again like you know it's just i'm an i'm a shy person and it's just kind of awkward it's nice don't get me wrong you know i, I enjoy meeting you guys but it is kind of awkward um also you know just getting spammed non-stop on xbox like i can't just get on xbox and just relax anymore i get on xbox and i'm just getting spammed non-stop so just little shit like that again it's not really you know trust me i'm grateful for all of you guys but, you know, it's just little things like that that's just like, well, you know, that is kind of annoying. Will you ever 5-0 swap it? I feel like you can talk about that for a while, I'm sure. Yeah, I could talk about that for a while. But honestly, if my motor blows, maybe. But it would just depend on what's cheaper to build. Is it cheaper to build up a 4.6 to handle the horsepower that I want? Or is it cheaper to buy a 5.0 and then build that? I mean, I feel like you can get a 4.6 for pretty cheap. Where you get a 5.0 new and it's like 10 grand. And then you got to build it on top of that? I'm not sure. I probably wouldn't but who knows here's a pretty good one it's similar to the other question but it says how has being an instagram and youtube influencer affected your personal life i know i flipped the words i'm dyslexic but uh, honestly um you know before before i was you know a youtuber i was able to just go to car meets and kind of hang out with my friends and just chill and now it's like if i go to a car meet you know i i feel like it's expected of me to go out of my way to you know go hang out with my subs and stuff like that i feel like if i don't then i'm a dick because I'm not hanging out with the people that support me or I'm not like talking to them and stuff like that. But it's like, dude, honestly, like when I go to car meets, I kind of just want to chill and just like look at the cars and like hang out with my girlfriend or my friend or whatever, whoever I'm with. But now I feel like I'm like expected to go out of my way and like, you know, go look at their builds and stuff like that. I don't know. It's just, it's a little different, you know, where do you see yourself in five years? Hopefully in a nice house with a nice car and uh, still doing this because I enjoy doing this. If you had to drive a stock car and absolutely couldn't mod it, what would it be? I'd probably say a C7 Z06. When are we gonna play baseball? Nick, whenever you want. What is your favorite anime? So I'm not much of an anime person. I've never really gotten into many animes. The only, like, and again, I don't even think Avatar The Last Airbender is an anime, but besides that one, I've watched Death Note and I think Death Note is one of my favorite and uh, that'd probably be it. Favorite JDM car, hands down Honda Civic. No, but uh, in all seriousness, I'd probably say, I don't know, either an r32 or, or i don't know r34 just seems too fanboyish i'd probably say an r32 honestly why no window tints sorry if you've already answered this before i'm new to following you so um the reason why i don't have window tint is because i used to have window tint and i couldn't see jack shit uh, I couldn't see cops, I couldn't see anything, and it was just really nerve-wracking to not know what car was behind you. And I still can't kind of see shit, but it's a little bit better, but uh, yeah. If you could own any European car, what would it be? Uh, I'd probably say some sort of Porsche. I just want to experience how good they handle, like a GT3 RS or something like that. I feel like, oof, it'd be so much fun. It's like full-on race car. Biggest regret car-related. So I actually don't think I have many big regrets car related. Everything I do, I kind of don't regret afterwards. And I, I don't know, maybe that speaks for itself in some ways, but I've never, I can't really think of a single regret. I mean, besides like blowing up my transmission or something stupid like that, or like accidentally breaking my Nissan's window. But besides that, I can't really think of like anything like, like I've wasted money on or something like that. So I can't really think of one. How much horsepower do you want to push? Love your videos have been here since 10K. I want to push like, around 800 i feel like 800 wheel on a car like mine i feel like that's like a nice amount i feel like any more than that and you're just trying to kill yourself and i feel like any less than that and i mean it's just like okay whatever favorite thing to do during your free time beat my meat 
who would you like to collab with? So I've never really been a big fan of collabs just because I feel like it'd be awkward to just both hold cameras on each other and just kind of, I don't know, I just feel like it'd be weird. But I have talked to Nate Ryder and um, maybe when I get my car up in performance and horsepower, maybe I'll go down there and we can get a little race going. Why did you decide to buy Mustang? So the reason why I was originally in the market for Mustang I wanted the cheapest car with the most horsepower. That's all I cared about. I didn't care about interior. I didn't care about any of that stuff. I just wanted to go fast and that was it. And I was looking again at the, the S197s, the 13s and 14s originally, and they had what, 420 horsepower from factory. And I was like, 420 horsepower, Jesus, that's gonna be so much fun. And then I was working at the dealership, buddy working there was selling this car. And so I just picked up this car. It, it actually isn't that complex. I just wanted horsepower. Top five restaurants. Okay, uh, in and out Taco Bell, mcdonald's applebee's and pizza hut i don't know if you couldn't own a mustang what would you own instead probably a corvette why don't you buy the new c8 so i was actually kind of interested in it but then i realized that the markup is going to be ridiculous for a while it's going to be at least a twenty thousand dollar markup depending on where you go and that just does not sound like fun are you going to get 900 or more horsepower later on i mean I, when i first bought this car i said i wasn't even going to mod it and now i'm over here trying to get 800 horsepower so i probably will but i don't know i might regret it how many fingers am I holding up? Well, at the time of me recording this, probably none. Dumb question, but do you let people get on your car and take pics when you're not there? Uh, no, if, if I saw some Insta thoughts sitting on my car, I would pull out a spray bottle and just start, get off. Is it okay to have a riced out car if you admit it's rice? Yeah, I mean, if you wanna mod your car and make it rice intentionally, sure, you can do whatever you want to your car. How did you get into cars and any advice? So I actually got into cars when I bought my V6 Mustang originally. Uh, I started driving stick in that and I just loved the feeling of driving stick. Not necessarily driving fast because again, it was a V6 Mustang, but driving stick in that car and kind of, you know, banging off first gear and shit. Like it was, it was fun, you know, getting the tires chirping and shit, kind of putting a little bit of gas in the turns and kind of, you know, doing a little, doing a little uh, power slide out of a turn. And, you know, it was pretty fun. And again, you know, I was the little kid in the V6 back then, but um, honestly, just driving that got me really interested in cars and I wanted something faster and then that's all I did. What is the top speed you've driven on the street? So I don't want to say necessarily exactly how fast I was going, but my speedometer ends at 140 and we were still easily moving faster. First job. So at first I actually in high school worked at a t-shirt printing place. I would print, you know, like jerseys for little leagues and stuff like that. And then I went and worked at a Chevy dealership and then I worked at a warehouse and now I do this. How many JDMs have you gapped for all those fanboys? Hashtag muscles. So when you go to race meets, it's actually pretty rare to see a Japanese car there. And I'm not just talking right hand drive. I mean, in general, it's pretty rare. And most of them are generally slow. I know a few and again, a few pretty fast. I mean, really fast uh, imports. But I mean, for the most part, they're not really that fast. And it's just, it's just how it is. You know, it's harder to get a four cylinder to get to the amount of power where like we're, it's harder, it just is. So how many have I gapped? I mean, it probably wouldn't even be that big of a number because they don't really show up. Why did you pick the color orange for the new wrap? So personally, I mean, I'm just a fan of orange, but my car was blue. I already had it kind of gray. So I wanted something different and I wanted something that was like almost, you know, like a stock color. Like they do come orange in a similar color to this, but uh, I wanted something that wasn't super like, okay, it's easily a different color. I wanted it to be like, okay, it might be stock. It might not be stock. So yeah, bright orange. That's what I went with. How much horsepower does the orange wrap have? So when you think about it, I mean, all wrap is is a big sticker. So I mean, just imagine sticker bombing your whole car. Unimaginable horsepower. What made you want to start a channel? I actually started this channel way back in high school just for like airsoft videos. And then, you know, as it was going on, I was just like, dude, this would be so much fun. Like if you just did this for your, your job and stuff like that. This is back in high school. And um, eventually I, I started taking it a little bit more serious about maybe a year and a half ago. I started posting more car stuff and you know, I just, I never wanted to just like work somewhere. I wanted to just like be my own boss kind of. So, I mean, this kind of works out. Do you ever wish you could take your car back to stock and redo slash change things? Not a chance. Will you do a restoration car someday? I actually, you know, I think that'd be a lot of fun, honestly. Do you ever plan on traveling either for YouTube or just for vacation? So yeah, I actually do want to travel. I've been to Mexico. But I do want to go to like Europe. I want to see Paris. I want to see London. But I don't know. I don't know when it'll be, but I do want to do it. Are you running any aftermarket suspension parts? If so, what parts? So yeah, my whole rear end is pretty much aftermarket. You know, we'll start with the springs and shocks first. I have um, Eibach Pro lowering springs, Tokiko adjustable shocks, and then I have Stita lower and upper control arms, an H&R sway bar, a Drake muscle panard bar. I mean, I have a few things. My front suspension is 
just the springs and the shocks. All right, well, I answered a lot of questions there. Uh, thank you guys for asking your questions. I hope this video was somewhat entertaining and you learned something. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment and subscribe to join the Peacock Flock. Until next video, peace.